Yes, um, good day to everybody here. <clears throat> Lord of Philemon, or rather, Auntie Felicia, if I say whatever I would say to you, I would like to give you this piece of advice. The worst thing that can happen to anybody, any man, is to be an empty vessel. Is to think from the ambit or rather the inners. Is to know that you have low IQ. Is to know that your brain is not matured enough. And any little thing you want to open your mouth and speak to the public. Any little argument you want to get the cameras and let the public see how stupid, how degrading, how a non entity you can be. And let me go back to what you talked about. I saw the video you made about me. Marian Wise one is, uh, has been exposed. I was paying very attention to the video. It pains me. It pained me so well that I wasted my data because I was really paying attention to the video, to every detail, to the end of it. I want to hear where I was exposed. And I didn't really see anything you were exposing. Okay, because you know your ultimate of is just barely three days. You're looking for what you want to expose. I'm not you, I don't have cockroaches in my cupboard. Now, first of all, let's go back to your marital life. That is why I said before you think, before you talk, think. Have a replay of whatever you want to say in your brain, in your head. If it doesn't go well, would you just know that yes, it's not going to be 100% fine with people out there? And you said you got married to Mary out of love. You loved her, you appreciated her. Your parents were never in support. Your siblings, your extended relatives were never in support of this very marriage. And you went ahead because of love. I went with you. We passed through the whole stages. If I had known that this is how it's going to be, I swear I would not even make that step with you. Because I feel so ashamed of myself that I'm coming out with you to go do something that, that you know under most it will result something like this. Can I tell you the truth? Mary, this young man here, Lemon, does not love you anymore. Even if he accepts you back, he's accepting you because of pity. And the worst thing that can happen to any lady is to be married out of pity. You don't love her, you don't love her, you don't want anything to do with her, yet you don't want to let her go. You're so selfish and coward. You don't love her. Why don't you want to let her go? You're claiming she's not respecting you. You're claiming she's, she's, she's taking ill of you online. Have you heard of saying respect is reciprocal? You don't take, you can't take what you didn't give out. No, you can eat your cake and have it. You insulted this lady. Are we going to talk about from the last year? Till now, you insulted her, you insulted her late parents, you insulted her a, 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 a big mommy, you insulted her in person, you insulted everything that can associate with her, you insulted them. You gave her names. What is it that you've not called her? From prostitute to thief? To this and that, to winch, to that, to this, to this, to be diabolical, left and right. Yet, this is the same lady that you don't want to let her go. You got married to her in court, right? Follow the process and let her go. She has already sworn on the grave of her late parents that she would not even take even to speak out of your house. What are you scared of? The explanation you made in the video you, 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 you posted recently about the both of us now. Who asked you for it? Who want to hear you? Who was interested in your explanation? She doesn't respect you. You want her to respect you. You want to bow down and probably lick your feet. You want her to jump an ocean for you when you can simply jump a small gutter for her. Look at me. Whatever your wife turned into today, you built that beast. You activated the beast mode, so deal with it. The lady I went to get married to with you, 
was never like this. She was a sweet soul. She was everything nice. Fine, we had our flaws last year. But let's call a spade a spade. You're just looking for where to lie your problems. You're just looking for who to shift blame on. Like I said, you're very, very manipulative. You want respect that you cannot give. If I, you can forgive her, but you cannot forget. Can you just take a look at yourself? Replay that video you did and, and look how stupid you look. You cannot forget. I've, and you want them to forgive what you did? Do you know the height you went to? You brought a girl that has been your friend for years. You brought her into, the, into your family in the name of your media assistant. Instead of having things with her. Let me refresh your memory. Do you know how she exposed you online? She posted it that yes, you're having something with her. That shows how anxious. That shows how 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 dubious she is. That shows how of how a how of a gold digger she is. She wanted you by all means. From I don't want to marry you, I just want to take you to responsibility. So my baby cannot live outside the father's roof. Now to the baby has gone, oh yeah, go now. You turn to will five million bring my baby my baby back. It will, it will no amount of money will bring my baby back. Now he's give me a hundred million, let me go. The devil they say you know it's better than the angel, you don't know. Your problem starts now. And I'm sorry to tell you you still have a very long way to go. Mary, I repeat myself. If you don't have feelings anymore for them, and I stand here today as your brother to tell you, take a walk. If there is no walking, take a walk. Leave when you still have your life. I repeat, leave when you still have your life. Otherwise, I didn't, I'm not praying such for you. I don't want you to leave when you don't have your life. But the key point is whether this way or this way you must leave because the beast I'm seeing now that just made those videos is being possessed by powers from I don't know I don't I don't know the fact is lemon you need a bipolar treatment you need a godly cancer you need somebody to work on your mental state because totally you've lost it the automator might give you is drawing closer and you're looking for a way to shift that tension. That's a clear conscious fears, no accusation. You don't love this lady anymore. Let her go. Go follow the due process. Send her away, no. And I bet you, the day that lady leaves your house, the day you send her packing, the very day you ask her to go back to wherever she was, to go back to wherever she was before she got married to you, that day downfall begins. You don't know the kind of grace you have. You don't know the kind of blessing God has blessed you with. Some people get cap, they don't get head, some get cap. Some get head, no get cap. The idiot I'm talking about is one of them. They get cap, you no know, get head. If you analyze what Joy did like this, will you analyze what Mary did in the past and the rest of them? Why did you call it past? You said you've forgiven her, so you've not really forgiven this lady. Hey, the worst thing they can ever do to you is to marry you out of pity. Don't even try it. A failed relationship is better than a broken marriage. Don't even try it. You never forgive her. You never loved. You, you can't insult who you love in public. You can't call a woman you love prostitute. You can't call a woman, you know, you, I love my wife. But you end up calling her names, not even her, insulting her whole family. And you're looking, you're telling her that she owes you an apology. Did you apologize when you brought Mary, when you brought Joy in the house? Did you apologize when you got Joy pregnant? You see the way Joy will stand up and start attacking her. In your very before, you have nothing to say about it. I'll be waiting for a video. Joy has been posting on your page. Are you telling me that you've not seen it? Joy insulted the kid famous. Joy insulted the Mbakara. Joy fought and still insulted. Physically fought, untouchable, and still insulted, untouchable on your online. Posted it on your page. 
doctor does said anything about it, despite the fact that we are still having issues. I, I, I am still the one that was addressing those issues. I missed it. They carry my phone. They call Dick. No think of. I missed it. They carry my phone. They call. They make call here. They make call here. How many times have you called? How many times have you made video to debunk such statement about the videos on your page? You're not seeing them. You turn to deaf and dumb, probably blind when it comes to something concerning joy. But once it's married, the beast in you will arise. That shows how much you love her. That shows how much you care for her. I will say that I will say it again. Two women cannot be under one roof. You can never walk out. And Mary, I will say this thing again. I said it at the beginning of this video. If you don't love a lot of lemon anymore, aka Manti Felicia, leave. Yes, I, the wise of bloggers, you can carry this video if you want to. I don't give a damn, I don't want to. Leave. Leave now when your two legs are still okay for you to leave. Because what I'm seeing is not working. The beast you call your husband will still maltreat you, will still speak to you, will still speak ill about you, not even you, about your family, about everything that associates with you. Marriage is meant to be enjoyed. Marriage is meant to be sweet. Marriage is meant to be a lifetime commitment, joy filled, happiness, fun filled. Not every day you cry in marriage. Is it anonymous? Did you get married to an anonymous man? Not every day you're looking shrinked and you say you are in marriage. Right now you're supposed to be robust. Be happy. I would like you to post your throwback video. Or your throwback picture. As when I have them, I will place it in this video. Before you got married to the to 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 to, to the Obia Gili that calls himself a man. You're draining, you're shrinking by the day. Why? Because you want to be in a husband's house. I do say this and I'll say it again. Marriage is not a criteria to make heaven. Marriage is just among the earthly things that we are meant to enjoy, supposed to enjoy. It's not even by force. Jesus did not get married or three stay on this earth. God does not have a wife. Even Satan that is in charge of all the evil, crime and the rest of them, he doesn't even have a wife. A wife was imposed on mankind. It's not really imposed. You can do it if you want to do it. You can leave it if you still, it's not working. There are thousands of men that want you. There are millions that are begging to have you. And I'll be very glad if you find somebody that will truly really love you for who you are. If I know do doings for that word, then call me idiot. Back to our ultimatum. Bro, if you like, post again. The wise and Mary have been exposed in the hotel. <laughs> I thank God that all the holding, the holding in our road. That was where we went to do the Saraka. In the house, she was even on my sitting room, on my couch, rather in my sitting room, making the video. So look forward to post next time so you can have a very high engagement. We just calm down and wait for what I'm going to tell the whole world about you that you know. If you don't make a public apology, if I don't make it a public announcement to all the ladies, don't marry because ingo change look at me i'll tell you this for free whatever you can bear in your relationship damn it you're gonna bear it in marriage no you can't tell me that you didn't see any of these characters my friend i know him he has been like that i know what you were blinded by love you love him you want him brain he's gonna change an idiot is an idiot a stupid man is a stupid man an arrogant man filled with pride. I'm a celebrity, I'm this. He's an arrogant man and can never change. Last warning. The Mary in your house. I don't want to say that she's a trap. I just want to tell you that you should mind yourself. Whatever you're doing with Joy is none of my freaking business. Try it on the side of Mary. And you will know that I'm not even standing alone. Will fight the whole world after me. I'm still waiting for the proof that you caught the both of us in bed. In fact, in my room, you saw her in my room. 
leave bed, bed too far. I want to have that proof. If you cannot provide that proof from now till three days, I will ring the bell of exposure. I shall speak louder than what. My name is Wise One. Good morning to you all. Have a wonderful day.